Ted from SciTech, and I've got a really cool experiment for us to do today at home. What we're going to do is we're going to make our own homemade lava lamp. In this situation, I'm actually going to be using a test tube, but you can use anything you want. You can use a co old uh, plastic coat bottle or any sort of plastic container. First one I'm going to do is I'm going to take some water, put it, put it about, half, about half water. Get that out a little bit there. Then I'm going to take some vegetable oil. I'm going to fill it about halfway up with vegetable oil. All right. At that point, sometimes you might want it to look a little bit different other than just the vegetable oil and the water. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put some green food coloring in because, well, I just like green. All right. Put four drops of that. Next, I'm going to grab my Alka-Seltzer right here. And the good part about my Alka-Seltzer is that's what's going to kind of give it that fizzing effect there that we're going to see. So let me break that up real quick. Now we're going to add the Alka-Seltzer to it. As soon as I add the Alka-Seltzer, I'm going to put the top on, okay? I'm going to put my top on, on my test tube. Same thing if you have a Coke bottle or anything, you want to put the top on. So what's going to happen is it's going to boil, it's going to bubble over the top. Whereas this gives it the opportunity, as you can see, starting to get it moving here. We're starting to get, starting to get the fizzing going. And there we have our little mini lava lamp. As I said, if you use something else, if you use a, a, Coke, a Coke bottle or any sort of other plastic container, it's going, to end up looking, it's going to end up looking pretty cool just like this. So this is Ted from SciTech. Thank you very much.